So this is my triggering source, the VC time gen clock here. If I patch it into the VCFQ trigger input, I get some subharmonic series type stuff happening sometimes. Sometimes it's good, like there, and then other times it's either gone or it's... Anyways, I'm not exactly sure why that happens. I have some, I have, uh, I can guess. The trigger input, the, the little op amp circuit in there, it, it almost acts like a flip-flop. Um, but it's temperamental and it seems to be uh, frequency dependent. That some, some frequencies it works well, others it stops entirely. So to set something up that's more consistent, I use one side of a DUSG as a memory cell flip-flop type patch. So same trigger source here goes into the trigger input here. Output goes into the filter. I'm not going to listen to that while I'm explaining it because that's annoying. Um, so output into the filter. It's a fast rise time and a, a medium fall time. The low pass output of the filter is going up to this logic. Um, so this is the out the low pass output of the filter. When this hits five volts, this goes high. That goes into the VC control of the DUSG and speeds it up to maximum, which blanks it out. So trigger input is like the set. High level goes into the filter. Low pass output starts rising. When it hits five volt, that pings the reset at the bottom here, blanks it out, and it is open to be cycled again. And that gives you really nice separation of the subharmonic series. And you can kind of play with the fall time to give you more blank space in between them, which can be helpful sometimes. So now if I get this self-cycling a little bit, Sequencer.